Hey guys, I'm back with another haul. Okay, um, you guys see my, my eBay screen up. I'm looking for some things. I got two online orders today in the mail. This one I'm going to, um, I'm going to play, place the blame on Amador this time. <laughs> I've been teetering back and forth whether I should order this stuff or not. And, um, there's other things I've been wanting to order, but I didn't want to pay for shipping. <laughs> So, I just put everything together after I saw his video, and I thought, okay, well, fine, I'll get these. Um, let's see. Okay, so the first thing is, this is the, um, it's a Christmas stamp, and I'm looking for the name, I'm sorry, um, it has a house and a church, two different houses and a church and then some sayings. So this one's an old one um, because it doesn't even have 2015 on here, which is fine. I don't need that to be on here. And so this is Melissa J. Design's Holiday Home. Can you guys see that? Sorry about the glare. And there goes my, um, what do you call it? Scan, computer scan. And I also got the, okay, I got dies to go with these stamps, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is what kind of tipped me over the edge. Oh, I got a couple of them. Um, this is the church die. Church die? Yeah. The church die, which is this one. It's a 3D die. And, um... I have the house die from Paper Tray Ink. So this is the church, which I guess you could also cut the top off and make it a house. Um, and there's the matching stamp that goes with it. Oh, God, you guys can't see that. What did I do that for? There we go. The stamp is $5. I want the house stamp, too. And I <laughs> I waited. Again, I waited too long is what happened. I wanted, I should have gotten some of the things that I wanted to order some time ago. And I just was like, okay, I'm not going to wait anymore. This is the Sweet Shop die. It's a 3D die as well. And I'm sorry if my big old fat finger is covering it. Sweet Shop. Um, and then, of course, they were out of the stamps that were the actual shop stamps. But I did get the signs, which are a little bit bigger. But that's okay, because if you look down here, there's also these tiny, tiny stamps down here. Yeah, so there's like a cupcake, a cookie, a donut, and a, um, looks like a bunt pan, and a rolling pin. Images shown at 50% of actual size. So they're bigger than what you're seeing here. Um, and then this one here is, this is the one that goes with the bigger set, sorry. So these are actual flat, they're flat dies house and church um, and so you can see a couple of houses here those those are the matching why did I do that why did I buy these dies I could have just cut these with my scan and cut I wasn't thinking oh my god anyway <laughs> I've got these two and I'll probably just put them together in a package in one of those stamp pockets and then this one I've been wanting to get for a while and actually this is two dies together these are the scene things. Um, so this is like a sunshine with rays. And then this one is stars. And you guys, you see they're circular. That's because they're used for those domes, those plastic domes that we used at Christmas time. Those globes. Um, you could just use half and of course this is clouds. So you put the globe over this um, after you cut it out. So I got those dies. I've been wanting to get that. I should have gotten the Christmas ones. I'm, I'm kicking myself for not getting them because they were in the kit and they're, of course, no longer available. Lovely, right? The sweet shop's going to really be really cute. It's If you guys haven't seen this, um, it's like a sloped roof. I think Chandy Walsh, Favored Favors, is her YouTube channel. Um, she, I think she did a, um, what do you call it? 
she did a glow with one of these in inside of it. So that's how small it is. This is as small as the paper tray ink house that they had last Christmas in one of their kits. So that's what I got. Well, I also got this from Paper Tray Ink. Um, I had watched a video from Sybil B. Um, I don't think she watches my videos. I don't know. Um, but she had said that she likes using this paper from Paper Tray Ink um, for her Copic coloring. So I wanted to try it out. And it's pretty affordable. It's 40 sheets of white 8.5 by 11 cardstock for $6. So um, I'm going to try this with my Copics. I haven't Copic colored in a long time, guys. Long time. So I need to. And then I had placed an order with um, Butterfly Reflections Ink again. Um, because she had. I saw her post on Facebook. She said she had some new things in her store. So I went ahead and ordered some things. This is the Dream, um, Dream Believer die. It's a um, dream catcher. So these are all these feathers that hang down from the actual dream catcher. Um, and I thought I could use that with some other things. So um, I got this. Then I got this. It's a 3D gem die. And um, if you guys are curious how this looks, it's actually, um, it is dimensional. Um, and you should see it because it looks really awesome. You're looking at the back of the die. Um, see if I can take it out for you. It's from Waffle Flower and um, I, I've got some, I already have some like um, dies that cut like diamond shapes and stuff like that but they're flat. This one is actually dimensional. Isn't that cool? You can see all the facets in it. Um, so yeah, I got that one from her and I had also, um, I needed to order something for a friend which I did order. Um, I got this die too for myself. It's um, stitched hearts. You can see that pretty well, right? There's a little cross inside of one of those hearts, like a little crisscross, little X. And then you can see the stitched hearts too. So again, W plus nine. And then this is actually what I ordered for a friend um, because Vanessa had it in her store too. So I figured since I was ordering, I would just add this to my basket. And this is the My Mind's Eye Fancy That um, paid paper, six by six paper. And you can see that it is gold foiled. Um, I'm not going to open this because it's not mine. Um, but you can see that the pages are really pretty. I thought I had gotten this. I must have just kind of thought that I did and put it back. <laughs> it's so funny because I'm like, I thought I'd order this. And I was looking around and I'm like, no, I didn't order that. Maybe I ordered something else that looks very similar. I have no idea. Probably because I already have um, a way to foil my paper and I can do it in whatever design I want. So, um, yeah, this is a really pretty paper stack. If you guys have not seen it yet, um, you should definitely look into that. It's not really, I don't want to say it's not pink. It's um, pink to orange, like a blush color, I want to say. Um, it's not really a, um, a pink tone. It's more of a blush tone, um, if that makes any sense to you at all. <laughs> so that's the online order I got today. I forgot to show something in my haul earlier. Um, I got these little word beads. Tiny, tiny. They're tiny. Um, not word beads. Letter beads. Um, and you can see they're pastels and you get 325 in a package. These are from the Dollar Tree. So these were a dollar a package. I got two packages and there's like pink. Um, these are all pastel colors. Blue, green, yellow, pink, red. They're all really light colors. They're not like, you know, in your face kind of colors. So that's one of the reasons why I got it. I got two packages of that. I got this stamp from Hobby Lobby, which I forgot to show because it was down in my bag. Um, this was on clearance for $3.59, and it's from Pink Pink Paisley. And then I also got some peat pots, which I didn't bring over to my desk. You know what those are. Those are for growing little plants, little seedlings. Um, I got some of those for crafting, actually. Um, but that's it. Um, and thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.